Hello, friendly fans. Today we're doing part 232 of the My Little Pony game. We're starting our new limited time story. This is called Kids Play. And let's start with the storyline. Starlight, Twilight, Rarity, thank you once again for gathering at the practice studio of the great and powerful Trixie. Now, you may be wondering why I've summoned you here today. Uh, not really. You need our help preparing for a new spell for your act, right? You were pretty clear about that in your letter. Your 12 page long letter. Ahem, <clears throat> yes, well, casting the phantom image illusion is no small feat, which is probably why no ponies tried to do it in a few hundred years. Until now. If we get this right, I'll be able to create perfect illusory duplicates of myself, just like the shin pony of old. Only in my magic act, instead of an actual ninja, <laughs> well, you as a ninja is a pretty great mental image. But don't worry, we're happy to help anyway. I can look through the bookstore's antiquarian section and see what I can find about that spell. So this is this week's new limited time story called Kids Play. It's a brand new one. And we need to send Starlight Glimmer to pick up some magic tomes at the bookstore for Hit the Books. This is going to take three minutes. Let's get her started on that. Really quickly, I'm going to collect from my shops. And while we're waiting, we could challenge one of our community ponies. This is just like the newer ones. We have to click on the Sonic Rain Booms. And there's other prizes to click on as well. This magnet will collect all of the good ones that you want to collect. I'm going to skip over the good clock. It actually makes it go slower. And I'm going to click on the bad clock. The purple one makes it go a little faster, which I think is actually more fun. You don't have to click on the magnets. They just make it a little bit easier. So there you can see, sometimes you get gems from this, sometimes you get shards. And the rain booms are for the magic, <laughs> sorry, for the limited time story. So we got 220 Sonic Rain Booms. Let's go back and check on our story. Has it been three minutes yet? No, we still have one minute. So let's go do one more challenge. And also, you can actually tap anywhere on the screen as long as the arrow is on top of your target. Again, I'm skipping the green clock, it makes it go too slow. But you can choose whatever is most comfortable for you. I actually like the purple clock, which makes it go faster. Okay, 210 Sonic Rain Booms. All right, was that one minute? Yes. I wonder if Trixie needs a glamorous assistant for her act. Having multiple spikes walking around does sound pretty cool. Alright, so let's claim that. Interesting. From this appendix here, it looks like Star Swirl the Bearded once studied this spell. He even added a few tweaks of his own in the margin. Also, he has terrible hoof writing. Twilight, you've spent more time with him than I have. Do you mind taking a look at this section and seeing if you can figure it out? I'd be happy to. Too bad Star Swirl's at an advanced thematics conference in Van Hoover right now. Or we could ask him in Pony. But I think I can get the gist of this for you guys. For study buddies, we need to send Twilight Sparkle to research the spell. Hey! This is going to take five minutes. 
So while she's doing that, I can finish up my community challenges. Twilight is finished researching the spell. Yay! Multiple illusiony spikes! Like, I could dress one of them like DJ Scales and Tail. Coordinate outfits for all the others. Let's claim that one. Yeah, this makes sense. We should have everything we need to cast the spell right here, Trixie. Well, except for the primary arcane focus. We'll need a pristine reflective surface. Say no more, darling. I know a description of a mirror the first time I hear it, thank you. I have one that should suit your purposes splendidly, Trixie. I just have to get it out of storage first. For feeling reflective, we need to send Rarity to test out the spell's primary arcane focus. Elegant. That is going to take another five minutes. And as you can see, I've already challenged all the ponies I have. I don't have enough yet to buy Nurse Redheart, but I would like to go ahead and do that while the limited time story is going on. Alright, Rarity is done testing out the primary arcane focus. You know, I should probably ask Trixie if she can cast the spell on me before I start getting this excited. But getting excited is fun. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and watch an ad to get two gems. Are we ready then, every pony? Yours truly will take it upon herself to do the honors. Hold! Halt! Delay! You know not what you do! Beware my terrible hoof riding! Yet, you guys have gotta call this off! The whole conference just realized there's a huge error in one of Star Swirl's spells! What? I can't hear you! This totally perfect spell we're casting is too loud! Alright, so this does not look good for Trixie. This is the first boss battle, and we need to defeat 12 of these minions. Let's go ahead and tap when there's a little circle there. Um, we need a power of 10. It looks like we could already do this. There's a total power of 19 here. Let's go ahead and level everything up as much as we can. And let's fight the first boss. So this is just like the community challenges. Except for we have different targets, of course. I'm going to tap on the bad clock to go a little bit faster. Okay, so we've already defeated the first boss. And the reward is the magical vortex. <coughs> uh, I can't see through all this magic smoke. D do you think every pony's alright? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and claim this. We'll place it after the storyline. What's with that dumb old look on your face, little Miss Magic? Your silly spell backfire or something? Let me answer that for you. It sure did. Ha <laughs> ha. What, what? Applejack? What's happened? Why are you so mean? Hmm. This won't do, Sugar Cube. I'm going to have to start filing the paperwork to revoke your magic license on the double. You should start packing your things. Oh, sweet Celestia. Don't tell me. The spell made doubles of Twilight and her friends? Mean ones. I guess that's possible, but but I don't know how to even begin reversing it. Uh, Miss Great and Powerful? Or, I mean, Trixie? I think me and my friends might just be able to lend you a hoof. Applejack is right. I'm no magic expert just yet, but I think if we can get our doubles to remember their true selves, maybe our bodies will follow suit. Oh my goodness, some of the doubles are adorable fillies. Look at your little smooshy faces. That is so cute! I, I mean, sure, you guys seem nicer than the others, so the great and powerful Trixie thinks your strategy could work. Little Applejack, why don't you give it a try? No problem. 
making me remember how good it felt to get out of somewhere I didn't belong and meet my true friends. Well, that shouldn't be hard at all. Alright, it looks like our next boss is Applejack related. We're just going to have to wait to defeat these minions. We need to defeat 50 of them. So if you remember, I leveled my Trixie up to like 29 and now it went back to 10 after the boss battle. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch or they did that on purpose. So I just completed my Applejack boss battle and you can see Trixie changed clothes. She's looking very cute. I can't bear to look. Did it work? I, I think maybe it did. And our reward is the orange stand. Let's go ahead and place that. It goes in Sweet Apple Acres. And I spent a little time this week rearranging my Sweet Apple Acres. So you can see my line of shops here. It looks like I'm going to have to start another row of, shop, of shops. So I'm going to clear a little space here for the orange stand. There we go. We'll put it here for now. It's going to take eight hours to build out this orange stand. I think I'm going to save my VIP points this time. Phew! Thanks for bringing me back to my senses, little apple seed. My brain went all haywire after that spell, and I guess I lost track of myself. But looking back makes me remember how I grew into who I am. Does that make sense? Speaking of, I think Fluttershy might need our help. Phew! <laughs> I don't need any pony's help. I have my friends in the forest, and that's all I need. Since when did hanging out with ponies do me any good? Sheesh, when in the hay did I get so loud? Can't you all, uh, um, shut up and leave me alone? Language, Fluttershy. Don't you remember your friends? I remember what it feels like not to have any friends. I shut myself off from every pony because I thought I had to. M maybe I can remind me how much nicer it is to be with others. All right, so in this next boss battle, we need to help Fluttershy become nice again. And it looks like we need to defeat 45 minions this time. I just remembered that we need to go back and place the magical vortex that we won in the last boss battle. Right now, it'll go right next to Rainbow the Flying Reindeer's house. I have some other items that I'm going to place around. I really need to reorganize the Ponyville. But for now, that is the end of part 232 of the My Little Pony game. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out JoJo's Science Show. I love you, friends, and I hope you have a fabulous day.